I've got some wild oats to sow. No one is safe. Every comic book character needs a movie or TV show, and that seems to be the case, according to Giant Freaking Robot. So take this with a giant, massive grain of salt, but, uh, you know, there's a truth to everything. HBO Max is developing a Poison Ivy film for their streaming service. That's right, Poison Ivy, who, of course, made her big screen debut in Batman and Robin, a movie I... I have no shame in admitting I watch more often than I probably should. Of course, that role was played by Uma Thurman. This is going to be on HBO Max, and it's starting to make a lot of sense. Morbius just did okay in the box office. People are clamoring for this. We have the Batgirl movie just wrapped. I'm actually very excited for that. The Flash rumors, whether they're true or not, they are all coming out. Shazam, Black Adam, Aquaman, Blue Beetle moving to the theaters. There seems to be a want for comic book movies, and it's not slowing down. And HBO Max, for me, personally, I think a lot of these titles would thrive in streaming. Some of them, like Birds of Prey. I actually enjoyed Birds of Prey, and I think that's something that would have fared a lot better in streaming. It did okay in the box office. Movie aside, we're not getting into how good it is or not. We're just talking about the movie itself. The one cool thing with Poison Ivy is you could actually bring Harley Quinn, bring Margot Robbie in, because she has actually said one thing she would love to do in a film is dive into the relationship between Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. That's something that she is aware of and something that she's very interested in pursuing and that could be for a lot of fun shenanigans you know, a tight-knit story as well something with a lot of depth and fun now again this is all very new and it's apparently is just happening but given the circumstances with morbius uh, with the popularity of harley quinn and warner brothers seems to love harley quinn and putting her on hbo max i think that would be ideal for them as well get someone of, of robbie's caliber on there uh, you can cast whoever you want for poison ivy they're of course doing poison ivy right now in the airverse and i think what they're doing with her on the airverse is actually unique and cool this one of course will have nothing to do with that Th this poison ivy movie may even coincide with the gotham knights movie that they're doing which then would make her a Batgirl villain, more so than a Batman villain. So there's a lot to figure out there. I mean, she could also be a Nightwing villain, or Red Hood villain, or Batgirl, or Robin. So there's a lot to figure out. There's so many things going on over at HBO Max. It's insane, but Red Hood is definitely happening. Gotham Knights is definitely happening. And uh, Nightwing is definitely debuting at the end of Batgirl. We got that figured out. So a lot's going on, a lot to take in. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, you just hope that they are good, right? You just hope that whatever we get out of this, this is good and we can expand the universe further. Also, to the, my Margot Robbie point just a second earlier, if this is the Batgirl one, then can it even be Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn? And in that case, you get someone else to portray Harley Quinn. That is a discussion for another day. I actually am working on a Joker Harley Quinn video for the Reevesverse right now. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to dive into that. Uh, but what do you guys think? Are you up for a Poison Ivy solo film on HBO Max? Do you think she could be get her own movie? Movie and then be the big bad in like a Gotham Knights or work her way into a Batgirl sequel or whatever. Is that what you think could happen? I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. I love to respond to as many of the ones that I can. And thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.